Welcome. 2023 just ended with a bang. Just a couple of hours before the start of the new year, the sun put on a display that shamed the sum total of all our fireworks to celebrate the coming of 2024. It produced the largest flare in over six years, which makes it the biggest event so far during Solar Cycle 25. This is a plot of the solar X-ray flux from the GOES spacecraft. It is divided into five categories of flares, A, B, C, M, and X. C flares are generally considered to be the smallest events of interest as far as solar activity levels are concerned. M flares are 10 times larger than C and are major flares. X flares are 10 times larger again and are very rare. In the first four years of this cycle, we've had only 22 X flares. Most flares originate from the strong magnetic fields in and around sunspots. This event was no exception. It came from a newly visible sunspot group near the east limb of the sun. From this most recent picture of the group, it is plainly large and complex. For example, compare it to the size of the Earth seen in the inset to the right here. Also, other spots or even spot groups seem to be trailing just behind it. Look at the arrows. The interaction between these regions are a common cause of flaring. So let's take a look at some movies of this flare. First, we should look at the hottest plasma produced by the flare, and that would be seen in the 131 Angstrom channel of the Solar Dynamics Observatory AIA instrument. It corresponds to a temperature of over 10 million degrees. That is nearly as hot as the core of the sun. Often such large flares are accompanied by ejecta. The best channel to trace that is in the Helium-2 304 channel from AIA. It corresponds to the relatively cool plasma at about 50,000 degrees Kelvin. Did you see any ejecta? I think there was a very rapid explosion of mass away from the sun uh, to the lower left. If you didn't see it, rewind the movie and look again. It was very fleeting. Now let's take a look at how the coronal gas is reacted. This time we're looking at about 550,000 degrees Kelvin. That's 10 times hotter than the previous channel via the 171 Angstrom channel. This channel is particularly useful for picking out the magnetic fields involved in causing the event and how they were changed as a result of the flare. So what can we conclude from all of this? The ejector we saw says that there was a coronal mass ejection launched by this event. I'll post a movie of that when the data is available. The flare was from a new sunspot region coming over the east limb of the sun. It is probable that this region will produce more big events. It's clear that solar cycle 25 continues to build towards solar maximum sometime in 2024 or 2025. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay safe. In the meantime, have a happy, healthy and prosperous new year.